Hey everybody, today we have Kingdom Mania, and like I said when I first saw this game in GameStop, a long, maybe around a year ago or whatever, is I was going to wait until this game was on clearance. Well, I did wait until the game was on clearance, but it was, but the clearance was twenty one ninety seven. But wait, they had a special deal of 70% off, so... I picked up two copies at 70% off. Now, I guess I do not have a receipt in the bag. Usually I have a receipt in the bag, and I'll show you how much I paid for it. And sometimes, just to prove that I'm not lying to you, but why would I lie? Because people lie because they're mean. Yeah, I know, right? But sometimes, uh, I just like to show you. And I believe GameStop's got some weird clearance and other sales going on right now, so go check them out. Anyway, this is Kingdom Mania. Um, you don't know what figures you're going to get. Even the beginning figures are pretty much the same. It says six unique figures inside. Collect all 12. There's uh, 40 figures to expand your game. Um, only available in the Super Game Packs are these figures right here. And I'll show you. These are the ones that you get in other ones. But you get some of these, I guess, in those. Anyway, we're going to open it up and see what it's all about. And, uh... Since I got today off accidentally because of the snow, I'm doing YouTube videos. Making the best of my day. Looks like they wasted a whole bunch of space in this game. Anyway, so you couldn't see these three figures here. Now, I'm just wondering if the top three figures are the same, or did they also make them like a mystery or whatever, too, because, oh, wow, so the top three figures are not the same, they are also a mystery, and of course, we have two different versions, I believe, of Mel... Maleficent, which is in her dragon form, or the dragon of Mal 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 Maleficent. So that's cool. And then, of course, we have these individual figures, which I don't know the names of them, but I do know, I believe this is the fox from, um, Dang. From that movie, the one that had the bunny. Had... Here's Mickey Mouse. Someone comment down below. I have no idea. It's just like an ice cream thing. <laughs> Maybe it tells you on the box. Oh, okay. Um, Nick Wilde is the fox. Okay, and the ice cream thing is Nick Wilde's popsicle. Okay. And then uh, we have this canine crunchies, which is canine crunchies. That's all it says about that. Canine crunchies. Um, which is one of the exclusive only found in the Super Game Packs figure. Then we have like a Scarab here. Which is a, that's what it is, Golden Scarab. Okay. Again, one of them that's only found in the uh, Super Game Packs here. And then we have this weird 
birthday cake being propped up by a broom, which again is Fauna's cake, which again is one of the rare. The green is the Magnificent Dragon Chase, so this is the chase one you're supposed to find, and this is the standard one. Okay, now we're going to open the... I'm going to open, and then we will look at the cards, but there's a lot of wasted space in these, these packages. Also comes with this interesting die, so now I have two of them, yes, we're going to look, try to find and see what our supplies figure is. This one is a stitch, which are only available in the game ball. So, supposedly this stitch, which was in this game pack, okay, this is a regular stitch, but there are some only available in the game ball stitch that are chases to find. Okay. So we have stitch, and we have Minnie Mouse. So, that's cool. So now we have both Mickey and Minnie. That's good. Now on the next one, let's see, what do we have here? I'm trying to open it. I'm trying to open it. We have um, Corella the Ville, it looks like. Um, which Corella the Ville is one of the 40 figures that you can find. 40 plus figures. And then we have this Tuxedo Parent looking dude, which is called Dr. Fletcher, which I believe is an uncommon. There's common, uncommon, Corella de Ville's common, and there's rare, which are those Game Ball exclusives. So that's all the um, all the figures, and then here is the checklist here and the rules of how to play the game. I don't highly doubt anybody's actually playing the game. I think more people are collecting the figures than playing the game. I think that's how it is with trading card or trading figure or whatnot games. I don't think as many people collect the or play the game. They collect the actual stuff that's part of the game. So it also comes with these like little tokens of some sort. And then, of course, it comes with player cards for each character. And they're double-sided. So I guess there's two different ways to play. They somehow knew which cards were going to be. Because I guess they pack them. And then they make sure the right cards... Are put with the right thing. You have these Nexus cards. Uh, you have these Kingdom Heart cards. Oh, okay, you have two Nexus cards. So that's cool. Um, you have these Kingdom Heart cards, which have basically they have things on them. I don't even know. How you're supposed to play the game i just uh, they just seem like they're rooms and you have to match that to beat that room or whatever and that the rooms i guess connect to each other somehow and some of them are locked rooms or whatever 
and I'm pretty sure that the other deck is exactly the same way, but it will have the cards from the other characters. What I mean is did it have these cards? Like it had the Maleficent, Lenore's Cake, the Golden Scarab, Nick Wild, Stitch, Minnie Mouse, and uh, yeah, same cards and the same bonus tokens. So we have double the cards and double the characters. And that is unboxing of Disney's Kingdom Mania expandable collectible character slash card game. Uh, and now we have these boxes that we need to recycle because look at that. They just have so much wasted space. Because you can like literally get everything I got in a much smaller box or like another can or even a bag for that matter. As always, remember God is good all the time. All the time God is good. Keep on gaming. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Collect them all. Um, comment down below. I don't know. Your favorite. And... Um, Have a great, wonderful day. I mean, if anything, you could at least use the dragons. Because the dragon's still a pretty decent figure. Uh, you could use that piece, and maybe the scarab piece too, to um, play as like a leader or a dragon or something for your, say, Dungeons and Dragons or other role-playing type game um, figure. Or a piece to move around in for like a, another type of game. Like say you have a, I don't know, a Disney edition Monopoly or Sorry or something and you better just use or or just use these pieces instead of the pieces it comes with, you know, which are way cooler. Or you, I don't know, want to put Mickey and Mouse in, uh, Mickey and Minnie Mouse in your game of, uh, is that game with the mice? Mice and Mystics. Yeah, you just... For some reason, want to throw in Mickey and Minnie into your Mice and Mystics board game as bonus pieces for some reason or not. Anyway, have a great day. Hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, it's been long enough. Y'all probably done hearing my ranting and raving. Do I even know if the game is any good? Well, apparently the game couldn't have been that good if it went all the way to clearance and all the way to clearance at a buy one get one free or 70% off or whatever amount deal that they went and did yes it's series one yes it's Funko games will that be a series two probably not because to have a series two you have to have good sales on a series one did people buy the Main game? Probably not. Did people buy the uh, little packs? I did see the little packs selling. So maybe it's just people didn't want to buy the main game and they just wanted to collect the little figures. Like I said, usually the games, when they're done like this, don't get actually played. It becomes more of just to collect the figures. So they slap a game to it to try to sell like little mini figures. Are the mini figures cool? Well, they kind of look like miniature Funko Pops. So, if you're into mini like Funko Pops or miniature Funko Pops, yeah, you probably like to collect stuff like this. If not, no. Yeah. So, that's my take and assessment on it. 
and it's been 15 minutes, so I'm going to leave y'all now.